Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom ASMR gameplay video. In this video we will be running around, exploring Hyrule, seeing what we can discover in this beautiful game. In my last video, I pretty much spent much of the video trying to get a little Korok dude to safety. And uh, finally succeeded. And today's video looks like we have a shrine to explore and vehicle to repair. This lady keeps talking to me. And uh, I think we already talked to her. She keeps shouting us over. So I thought she had something new to say. What do these ladies have to say? We finally managed to leave Gerudo Town and set off on our own search for Vo. We wanted to put all our Vo and you lessons to the test, but none of the Vo we've met have measured up. Oh, that reminds me, before we left, I heard someone talking about a Vo in the outside world. They called him a hero. A hero, huh? I bet he's a strong Vo who's taller than us, even. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take him out. You mean ask him out, right? Our class did cover how to be the one to make the first move. Anyway, I'm sure it's possible to pursue the hero, but how would we even recognize him? Oh, the legendary sword. Now I remember. The hero is carrying the legendary sword. Okay, the legendary sword. Wait, what is the legendary sword anyway? If it's good enough to be called legendary, then it probably glows or something. Oh, maybe it's really tall, taller than us, even if we're standing on each other's shoulders. This sounds like a real pain. It would be easier to just launch a surprise attack. If we were really careful, we could easily sneak up on the target. Riza, you have to stop referring to Vo as targets. <laughs> it's funny how they have the opposite problem. Maybe an apple. I think I have an apple. Yeah, here it is. Korok. Now we have two apples. All right, let's go check out this shrine. And, um, I want to go fight the dragon, but I don't know if I'm ready for that. Wait, what's this? What's that? Interesting hiding spot. Did we go down this mine, down this well yet? I 
feel like I need to stop jumping down like that. Because what if they're hiding something on the tunnel down? And then I keep doing this jump straight down and I never realize it. What the heck are these frogs? What are these frogs? Sticky frogs. Hmm. Never seen these guys before. Interesting spot for a frog. So a few days ago, or maybe two days ago, I released a... Oh, look at that image. I released a poll on my channel asking you guys if it was a good idea or if you thought it was a good idea to do some RuneScape ASMR gameplay videos. Looks like some of you guys think it's a good idea. So I think I will make an account and work on some videos for you guys but the thing about RuneScape is that there's a lot of moments in that game where you're pretty much just doing the same thing over and over and over again well I guess that's kind of ASMR in a way but let me ask you guys in the video what is a game that you think would go well with the style of videos that I make <clears throat> just let me know in the comments if you can also how important do you guys think a video's thumbnail is? There's a new feature that YouTube is going to be rolling out called A and B testing, which will allow video creators to push out multiple thumbnails at once and YouTube will test how well they perform for you and um, based on the performance they will automatically pick the best one for you and display that one I wish this feature had been implemented a while ago because Personally, I think that the thumbnail is very important for a video getting views. I think the last video that I published did, did pretty good, but would have done a lot better if I had picked a, or made a better thumbnail for it. Wait, why did it? Oh, I think I know why. It's because we didn't put any spice on it.
Need some space in that. Alright, let's uh let's climb up here and uh, check out the shrine. Enough goofing around. Can't believe I've played this game for so long. And I still have not done a lot of the story. <laughs> I think I should start working on it. Even though I really like the um, thoughtless exploration. Just running around wherever I feel like it. balloon. Alright, what do we have here? The stakes guide you. Whoa. What is this? I guess this is where you learn how to use these stakes. I don't get it anyways. Can these be attached to any? Is that what this is for? Whoa. Wait, what? Okay, interesting. Well, what's this for? We go all the way up here or something. No clue. Okay. Okay. Then we grab this one. Maybe we move this one a little bit lower. Oh shoot. What? It just came off. Alright, then we grab this one and attach it to this wheel push the ball forward oh Let's 
Let's see if this works. All right, there we go. That should work. All right. Okay, so now I know how the, the stakes work. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Now we get out of here. Go back into the surface. How many do I have? Oh shoot. I thought I had more. Thought I had some more. Going back to the th topic of games to play on this channel. I was thinking of playing Baldur's Gate 3 whenever it came out. It seems like a very interesting game. What is that? Is that a tree? Just a tree, I guess. Big monster. We're gonna follow the road a little bit. Oh, this guy needs our help. Everywhere you go, people need your help. A little bit of lag. Oh man, today I ate some burgers. It was a fat burger. And um, to be honest, it was too greasy. Uh, I don't know how to feel. I think I prefer a... I think I prefer a small burger these days. Too much food and I can't... Can't even eat it. it becomes a chore. what happens when you get old. Alright, how's this gonna do? Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here too, but I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Try letting go. Oh. Unforgivable. <laughs> Oopsies. Well, they just threw my design away. How rude. How rude. They just scrapped my design. slide this pole in between these bars let's see how this does try letting go Ooh. steady as a rock how is the president standing that was brilliant. I would have never thought of it. All right, let's get him secured. Perfect. With your help, 
President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. Veggie rice balls. Sleepover ticket. Only if you'll ever give me anything else other than 20 bucks. I mean, $20 an hour, that's pretty good. Pretty good pay rate, I guess. But he should be paying me for my talents, not for my time. You know, I mean, whatever. How did that not count as a flurry attack? Oh well. I need to take off this vest before I get broke, get taken damage. Armor shard shield. to say who oh, the nerve of you coming here please go away you're just a monster who's after my blessing of clothing enhancement the world outside my butt is filthy with gloom and full of monsters don't try to deny it I know it's true my older sister Tara told me even the music I love is gone and until I hear the sound of a flute out in the world I'll never go outside again. I moved near the stable to grant my blessings to travelers. If I heard the sound of a flute played by a musician in a troop, I'd feel cheered up enough to come out and face the world. Okay. They like music. I'm changing the tunic. Far it's too late. Okay. We got a full squad forming up here. Oh. Sneak attack, huh? How dare you? Uh, sturdy. I really like spear weapons. Oh, there's a... There's a thingy here. Oh, 
was close. <laughs> that was pretty close. Kind of a reckless attack. But uh worked out. What's this over here? Traveler's Claymore. Sludge is about to break. Wonder if there's anything up here. Uh, going back to the subject of the RuneScape gameplay videos, I think I might try the waters with it as a is a stream. See how it does as a stream first. Then if people respond well to it, they'll switch it over to a um, video form. It's the desert a harsh environment. Is the desert a harsh environment? with extreme temperature differences, sure. But a place of death, no. To the desert's the place where life truly comes alive. A sandy sea of energy where you can draw out all of your power. After all, it was under that hot desert sun where I first dined in a dish made with fire fruit. I felt my strength light up like a flambe. Monsters I struggled against before fell for me like flies. I've never felt such joy, such strength. Then the desert heat overwhelmed me, and I collapsed in a heap. The moral is, although fire food increases your strength, it doesn't offer any protection from the heat. Power and protection such a fine pairing that it's hard to choose one to give up. I am the man who eats his way through Hyrule's harshest environments. Wizard of food. I didn't know fire food increased your attack. You can probably make like a spicy soup. Spicy tomato soup or something. Although spice and tomato kind of contradict each other. I think because tomato is sweet but maybe it'll work a little bit of sweetness a little bit of heat never hurt anybody I kind of want to fight this dragon but I don't want to make the video too long Maybe the next video will be of just a dragon fight, but I don't know. What's up with this thing here? stealth bosses feel like the options for this game are so vast if you 
think something might be possible. Chances are that it might be. Uh, where'd I park my horse? Where did I park? Where the heck? That's not my horse. I think I hear it, but I don't see the icon. Let's try this recipe before we head out. Might as well take advantage of an oven fire. All right, so let's use some fire for it. Um, Oh, I don't think it gives you attack power in hot temperatures. Hmm. Doesn't sound too appealing. Well, let's head back. Here we're going to take a right. <laughs> the noble swordsman scrounging for scraps. You fell for the oldest trick in the book. Your life ends today. Spell. Alright, cool. Whoa. What's up with this? Why are these things attacking us? Rock in a tree can only mean one thing. Duplex well. And we're going to attach. Hmm. Shot me. What? 
Tak. photo of this. Captain Construct 2. These pots only let you cook one recipe. That doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense to me. Wait, this wooden stick is OP. <laughs> Durability, I think. Two durability. Wow. This shield also pretty good. Do I have any trash shields? That's a good one. If you're going to Gerudo Canyon over the suspension bridge, you better be careful. I used to have a stable in the canyon, but ever since the upheaval sent the weather all screwy, horses hate the place. No horses mean no travelers meant no business for my stable. I was ruined. I had no choice but to re relocate and open a mini stable over here. But boy, do I miss the old spot. Still got both your ears, or did I talk one of them off? Anyway, let me know your name so I can confirm that you're a stable member. Your name is Link, you say. You're, one of the st you're on the stable member list. Here, I'll give you one point to commemorate your first visit to my humble stable. What brings you here? I'm running this mini stable all of my lonesome, so I can't offer as many services as a regular stable can. But I'm happy to help you register, board, or take out a horse. So 
Sorry, I can't give you any pony point rewards here. You have to do it at a proper stable. The end there is closed now, but if you're gonna stop at Gerudo Canyon Stable, remember to be careful. The upheavals turn the road leading into it to it into a river. Getting there is sure to be a rough journey. Sure to be a rough journey. Rough journey. All right, let's keep going. Sunshroom, but right red mushroom that grows in hot climates, imbued with the power of heat. Hmm. Is this where the stable is? Is this? Looks like a pear. Splash fruit. A fruit that contains pressurized water. Cooking it brings out its ability to enhance swim speed. so many piles of wood. It's not even funny. And I never use them either. But I rarely use them. Sometimes I do. Let's get this on there. spot for sure all right let me take a photo of these gotta add them to the compendium is there anything back here not. Let's see what these people have to say. Good day. Oh ho, might you be a traveler? I'm camping here so I can investigate the giant ruins that fell at the entrance to Gerudo Canyon, just up ahead. Rubble and ruins have been falling all over since the upheaval, but the ruins at the border are particularly immense. We've set up this camp so we can carry out a full investigation of that site. This area has a very harsh environment, but we make interesting discoveries every day, so it's worth it. If you like the unique ruins up ahead, you might also be interested in visiting Kakariko Village off to the east. The various ruins there are fascinating and definitely worth your time. Gerudo Canyon is a huge canyon to the south leads to Gerudo Desert, where you would find Gerudo Town. However, lately, the days in Gerudo Canyon have been blisteringly hot, and the nights have been absolutely freezing. You'll collapse before long if you aren't prepared to deal with extreme weather. For example, I've been maintaining a careful diet to help me deal with these extreme temperatures. If you want to know more, chat with the girl in that tent over there. She should be able to answer any questions you have. You should keep an eye out for other investigators or travelers. If you're going to pass through the Rudo Canyon, you may find others with useful information to share. Let's see. Let's see, what would be a good lunch today? Everyone relies on my cooking to get them through the day, after all. Oh, I haven't seen you before. I don't think. Are you here because you've heard about me? Well, it's all true. I'm the one in charge of keeping the members of the researching team healthy and happy. And I've figured out a secret to keeping them energized. Want to know what it is? Absolutely. Of course you do, and I'll tell you. 
It's all about what they eat. When it's hot outside, you should cook up meals using shell gel shrooms. When it's cold, substitute sun shrooms instead. It's amazing how well the body can hold up to high or low temperatures if you've used the right ingredients. You will want to try it for yourself, I'm sure you do. Feel free to use this spot. Alright, let's see what's up top. Let's see if there's anything. He said the horses wouldn't come down here, so I was concerned. Good day. What an unusual relic, and look, there's something inside. I believe this device is meant for some special purpose. But as for what, that may be, who knows. Similar devices have been found in Kakariko village to the east and Tarrytown to the northeast. I want to unlock this gizmo's secrets before the dream searchers in those other places too. I must. Let's see what this one gives. You did it. You got it to work. How did you? Wait, don't tell me. Let me figure it out. So if you put something on that dish, it gets sucked in. How in the world did you get that thing out of there? Alright. Was I gonna tell you anyway? I think there's a Korok seed down here. Right there. I think that's gonna be it for this video but uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one